as 2018 marks the 100th anniversary to the end of World War I. A unique exhibition is touring the country, with its final stop now at the Art Gallery of Swift Current. Keepsakes of Conflict is a rare opportunity to view wartime souvenirs or trench art. Julia Kruger is a researcher with the exhibition and explains trench art in more detail. And what it basically is, is it's moving away from the idea of defining trench art as a set group of objects. And instead, it's about understanding the makers, being open to different types of makers, different types of materials and different types of objects. And the thing that unites them all together is the fact that they're somehow related to armed conflict. So that could be literally related, but it could also be like temporally or spatially related. So it could be somebody who maybe comes back after a conflict and makes some type of object at that point. She adds that the pieces in the exhibit span various timelines, from the Boro War, World War I and II, to Afghanistan. Mementos collected from museums and armories across the country all with a focus of educating the viewing public of the numerous war efforts and the psychological aspects soldiers faced while on duty and in later years through convalescence upon returning home. So one of the reasons would be that it was made by civilians to sell to service people. I think it's still enduring material. It's like the letters where you would have an industry that's basically collapsed due to the war that's going on and they then realize that there's a new market. So they, they could sell little bits of beautiful embroidery to soldiers that would then mail that back home to their loved ones. A reason that somebody who serves might make it um, is what we talked about in the lecture today was this idea of, of psychologically working through some of those difficult um, times in, in one's life when it has to do with uh, you know, the industrial war machine being uncontrollable and maybe there's a little bit of control that you can get back by taking that bullet that was designed to kill you and and bringing humanity back into it by making it into something that you then control like a lighter. It can also be a way to remember the war and in fact um, it's been known that people would travel back to an area of conflict and then buy trench art from the civilians who are there digging up um, the materials and then making them into trench art. And with over 80 pieces ranging from brass, metal to wood, the exhibit is set up in a unique fashion for the viewing public. The goal was to try and make sure that they're maneuvered around the space so that when the viewer or the audience comes in that they, they aren't bombarded with so many objects that they actually have time to sit and look and contemplate the different pieces. So some of the works we have gathered together in a bit of a collection of smaller items all together. And then that was kind of in order for people to spend time sitting and looking at the individual pieces. And, and I think that's, you know, it was a time before television. It was a time when people did, were more familiar with handmade objects and there was more of an appreciation of handmade. Um, and so this work, we have a, an amazing tea set that uh, you would never know. It, it's totally transformed the objects that it was made from, which was bullets and shell casings. But it's, it's a very stunning, almost art deco style of tea set. An intriguing exhibition, which is spurring conversation among visitors to the Art Gallery of Swift Current, while reflecting on a personal side to the war. So it put a name and a face to the pieces. So I really got a feel for what was maybe going through the artist's minds during the time that they were created, or maybe what they were even remembering if they made them after the war. What was going through their minds remembering that time period. The lighter just has so much detail to it, and it's so intricate that, you know, to make a lighter, how, how would you know how to build a lighter? You know, would you have to take it apart? and then first know how to craft it and where everything goes. To me, that's the more amazing thing, is that if you didn't know how a lighter worked, how would you make one? So there's a lot of different factors that, that go into making these things, which makes it very unique. And coinciding with this exhibition is a book in the same name, detailing these and other artifacts collected through the research for the project. Keepsakes of Conflict was commissioned by the Moose Jaw Art Gallery and Museum and has been on tour across Canada since 2016. The exhibition now awaits you at the Art Gallery of Swift Currents until December 30th.